Greetings, Karate Illuminati. This is Noah, and today we're going to have a bit of a follow-up on my previous video regarding uh, driving off the back leg, primarily in a zenkutsudachi, or front stance, uh, for generating power. And in that video, we discussed keeping that heel planted for close-range techniques, uh, but for turning up and driving on the ball of the foot for longer-range techniques, and how you sacrifice power by keeping your heel down in order to gain more stability, and why we might do that. Today, we're going to go over something that appears in some kata that makes up for that degradation in power a little bit without bringing that heel up so that we lose our balance. Now, not all styles do this, uh, but when we perform certain techniques in our kata, we slide forward. And the reason that we do that is because we are driving off of this back leg, turning our hip, and instead of turning up onto the ball of our foot to gain power, we're keeping this foot on the ground, but we're letting it push our entire body forward. Now, what that does is it allows me to get the same extra rotation and body movement that I do when my heel comes up, but without bringing my heel up. So I can drive, and as long as I bring this up, I can get that extra rotation and move my body into the strike. Uh, so for example, in our Pinan Godan Kata, we start here, and this reverse punch comes through with this pushing enough to drive my entire body forward before we come into the next sequence. So that kind of thing appears many times in our Kata. And it's a small detail, uh, and I've seen this in other martial arts as well. Uh, Xing Yi, for example, a Chinese martial art, likes to do this where they bring that leg with them. It doesn't seem like much, but again, where we had, this is how far your hips can turn if this is planted, versus this is how far they can turn if you bring your foot up. If I drive into my heel enough to actually push my entire body forward, then I can get that extra rotation that extra forward movement of my body weight to get that power back, and I haven't lost my base. So that's something for you to play with in your striking. Uh, I usually work that on a makiwara in order to make sure that I'm not losing my balance, uh, because if you come up too much when you're hitting the makiwara, you can actually get pushed off uh, in various directions because you don't have that base. So having this planted as you strike gives you something to get pushed back onto and make sure that you haven't lost that base. Once you've got a feel for that, it works really well hitting bags uh, and hitting focus mitts and uh, all sorts of various other impact equipment. So something for you to try, something for you to incorporate into your training. Uh, may not be in your kata, but it comes in handy if you're used to keeping that foot on the ground, at least driving forward enough to pull it with you will get you that extra power you might otherwise lose.